Which subject do you want? Um, we're doing animal, animal science because I'm ready. I want to feel good about myself. Okay. That's a duck. You get this next question, right? Polar, saltwater, freshwater, taiga, no polar. I said polar twice. Um, that is definitely freshwater. Probably freshwater. That is definitely freshwater. That makes sense to me. I just took ornithology. I've seen ducks. Also in my life. I so, haven't. I, what? A duck took off my toenail. What? Child. Wait. <laughs> I was feeding it bread, and it was not happy at the rate at which I was feeding it. And <laughs> my toenail was in a sandal, ripe for the picking. <laughs> I'm on apparently, a apparently, um, Wild typically card. when we look when we look up at the moon, we can see that um, mare viporum. Typically, how many nouns That's... are in this sentence? Is this us? Yes. By the way, I was... yeah. Okay. okay, Kevin is lost. Is is you a noun? It's a pronoun. Is it a pronoun? You must legally. Uh, it might be. I don't think it's a noun. Okay, there's 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 five, six. If Valent, wait, hold on. Valentine's Day card. Okay, Valentine's Day. Does that count as? I don't. Valentine is a person. That's a noun. Is it Day though? is a noun. Um, you must give a card of Valentine's Day. So you, one, two. Three. I don't think it's. I don't think use a noun. I, I don't know if that counts. Yeah, I don't think it counts. it's just whether whether Valentine's Day. Card, child, and class are all nouns for sure. Wait. Yeah. Wait. There's no. There's no three here, so it's five. So, so yeah, it must be it's Valentine's could, Day. Okay. You. Hold on. Could potentially be six if you're counting Clap. you. Child, card, Valentine's, and day. day. Yeah, it just it, depends it, on whether it's absolutely you is counting. One. It's five or yeah. six. Mm -hmm. Is you a noun? Use a pronoun. I think use a pronoun. Are, but are we counting pronouns? It's a pronoun a noun. No, it's a pronoun. Alexa. No, you pronoun, can't do that. Noun. Put that away. I don't have Alexa. <laughs> I do. You almost turned mine on. <laughs> uh, we right. can go with five. She's a wild card expert. She'll she'll know. Okay. <laughs> what what happens if she gets it right? Do uh, we get it right? Technically, we get a save. We have one save if we get it wrong and they get it right. Okay. There you go. There's been a lot of deliberation here. But look at how much money we have. Looks like cash. you were sweating a little bit on that one. Hey, we got it. <laughs> And a pronoun is not a noun. It is a pronoun. There we go. Okay. But it has noun in the name. It does. So they can't they can't fault us too much. Uh, which you want you want to do the you want to do the culture. Left. See if do we have something with cultural studies? Yes. That one's kind of hard. Uh, don't we want to put that? These all suck though. Um. Do you remember what's on the board? Because I don't. Cultural studies is somewhere on the board. I don't That's the only one that. I remember. <laughs> You want to do that one or not? No, I really don't, but the astronomy okay. is useless, so we will have one turn to not have to do cultural science or whatever it is, studies. All right, I don't need him high-fiving me. We have art, cultural studies, geography, oh no. Uh, it's U.S. geography, though, so it might not be as okay, bad. Okay, that's probably, that might be acceptable. That Earth sounds science more Google. sounds very easy. I want to do that. Um... It's first grade Earth science, yeah, for sure. Science. What causes earthquakes? Magma explosions. Substance? Sedents? Yeah, I said that right. Global warming, released pressure. It's released pressure, unless subsidence means something I don't know. Your classmate is locked in we'll find already. out, I guess. Um, I, Hold I on, sub, sub, it's subsidence? To subside is to stop. And... Uh, what what does it's it's the plates and is it that they that they stop each other and then they stop each they other shift? and then they break free and that yeah. releases the pressure so it should be really so pressure. subsidence oh is it the pressure that actually does, does not, it i would think so let's go it's the release of pressure uh i guess pressure isn't just in a gas pressure can be for solids yeah, I think it's really yeah. pressure we're gonna go with it i feel good about this one i feel good about this one i'm locking in jeff 
Get your answers locked in. I'm glad to reiterate all of our voice lines to you. I don't know what took you so long. Yeah, this this chipmunk is going pretty far. Right yeah, we were right. Awesome. Okay, good. Awesome. I don't know what substance means. You know, let, let's look up. Let's let's learn now today. It's, hey Alexa. Alexa. All right, we have to we have to do cultural studies now. This is what I was afraid of. All right. <clears throat> Actually, uh, I'm bad at all okay. of these things. So. Subsidence is the gradual caving in or sinking of an area of land. Okay, that does not cultural cause earthquakes. Studies. This does is not. I can see it happening because Which of, of these an earthquake. Gods though. is not the head of an uh, an underworld. Oh God. Oh um. Pluto. No, sorry, no, Pluto Hephaestus. is. Pluto is. It's Anubis Hephaestus. Is. Hephaestus. Um, Anubis, Hell, and Pluto are all heads of... Um, Hell sounds Pluto. like he leaves an underworld, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Hell is the... Um, she... Uh, I I don't remember exactly in Norse mythology. She's one of Odin's daughters, I believe. Alright, so it's not, Hephaestus? It's not Hephaestus. Hephaestus? Yes. Yeah. No, wait, Hephaestus is the right answer. Yes, yeah. Hephaestus, Hephaestus is the uh, god of the forge and fire. Yeah, I feel like I knew the name, but I couldn't okay, put my finger on what it was. I didn't think it was that, in. though. When, or, when I didn't think it was the Underworld. When you first read the question, I, I in my head, I heard, which of these is God of the Underworld? And I was like, this, whoa! Th this might be a two-episode series. I don't, I don't know why, uh... I don't know why the American education Way system made me study Greek work. mythology. I don't know why the American education system made me study Greek mythology, but it's finally paying off. Uh, I know it from, like, the Rick Riordan novels. Uh, I read those when I was a kid, too. I definitely didn't find out who Hephaestus was from that, though. I feel like I did, because I don't know, I don't remember learning that in school. Alright, uh, U.S. Geography is probably fine. Art is more questionable. It's second grade, though. But you saw the, well, actually, the first grade question was pretty easy. Capital in city lies in the states. western. Lincoln is Nebraska, Nebraska. I think. Sacramento is California. New Mexico. Wait, Your where is it? Is Nevada? Sacramento? Maybe. Sacramento's in California. Is it? I think it is. Maybe it is. Frankfurt is New Jersey? Like I think it's somewhere like on the east. New Jersey, so yeah. Yeah, my Boston, Sacramento Boston, sounds Texas. western. Oh, wait, yeah. All we can do is copy, okay, so we're not going to do that. All right, your answer's locked in. It even sounds like it has you Spanish roots. So Yeah, it definitely does. So I feel like, yeah. Yes! By Mexico. There we go. Great job. I don't know where Frankfurt is the capital of Let's anymore. All right. At the last subject. I, I don't know if I ever learned the state capitals. I did a long time ago piece of painting that is stressed or single out Your classmate is now locked it's not hugh uh it um, describe the piece of painting probably, probably saturate is it an accent? oh wait hold no, on sorry. hold on contrast oh wait a piece oh a piece within a painting that is single out that should be contrast i agree all right take your word for it okay Garrett and I were we, uh, we, we went to art school together. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You guys are like a good compliment to the things I do not know at all. You didn't get that one right, but you oh, no. we're... could have taken the fifth grade over again. Did we get it wrong? It took you to come up with your answer. Yes, and he made fun of how long we took, which was not that long. <laughs> it really wasn't. You're not What's the right yet? answer? Is it accent or is it saturate? You better say you better not fail me again. It was accent. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Cause I didn't think it was saturate. Cause I th I didn't I don't know that as anything other than a verb to saturate. I guess you're not quite finished with us yet. And it just didn't seem right. That line of logic is probably not very good, but it would have arrived me at the right location. <laughs> I said can be created. Okay. Awkwardy. Million dollar qu what happened? What? It looks so bad. <laughs> this looks like a website from 2002. <laughs> <laughs> You've reached the million dollar question. 
I'm going to tell you the subject of the million dollar question, and right then and there, you'll have to decide if you want to try to answer it or not. So he tells us the Let's subject, and we decide if we want it. Please be science. English. The million dollar subject. I'm pretty good at English. We've got this. Garrett, do you write things? I do write things. Okay, I'm we passable. might have this. I'm also decent in English. We'll give it a try. Go for it. I'm going Language. for the million, baby. <laughs> Languages were the only honors classes I took in high school. My uh, my high school didn't have those. Is it, is it Kronos? What is the five-letter root word meaning time? Chrono. It's C H R O N. C H R O N. Not too many letters. Um, time, 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 time. Oh, what? Um. C H R O N. Yeah, that's six. Is um, it Crone? Is it just C H R O N? Chronology. Crone. Chronological. I don't. Could be. That's the best answer I've got. We, we, that what we're going with? I. Last scared you, you have anything? Uh, his name was Kronos. I think it's yeah. Better. I think we're gonna go with Chrome. Yeah. I don't have anything yeah. better. I thought I thought it would be a multiple choice. This is not what I was prepared for. Can I have you repeat that more while I <laughs> please tell me again, Jeff Foxworthy? <laughs> Wait, Jeff Foxworthy, I can't read. <laughs> One more time. Okay, that's what I thought he said. Lock in. Locking in. Locking in. You're now in. locked in for the final time. One million dollars is on the line. I'll feel very good if we just get it right on our First second all, try. Congratulations for getting to the end of the line. It's not easy. It's pretty simple. If you've got the right answer, you're a millionaire. Alright, Jeff. Stop dragging it out. Don't, you will lose four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Come on, Jeff. With I wish you guys could hear this, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can. You've won one. Oh, we did it. It took two episodes. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, we might be smarter than a fifth grader. Chipmunks might be far smarter than fifth graders. <laughs> Five and a fifth grader. Eat I it, just proved that I am smarter than a fifth grader. Take that, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin had no business being here. What a redemption <laughs> story. We went from an F to an A+, plus, and also we have a million dollars now. Think that deserves a round of applause. Oh, the crowd's gone wild. We, Tyler and I can't hear the crowd. <laughs> oh, well, you guys can clap for each other, then. We, that's what we're doing. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you for being with us, Tube. We did it. Thank you for being with us, Tube. You too. Yes, thank you. Ah, uh, wait, we got an A minus. Hold what? the <laughs> What? Well, I guess we got that's the one it. thing wrong. We got saved. I'm coming. Uh, I'm trustworthy. That's it. I'm getting. Yeah, we're gonna. You know what? You know, guys, I'll take it. I'll take the million dollars and the A minus. Worthy. With with the one with the one million dollars, we can sue Jeff Fox for the for defamation, uh, and then get even more. All money. this money will be donated to the Chipmunk Foundation. <laughs> uh, Jeff Foxworthy will also be donated. <laughs> Give me my A plus. He will be sacrificed and fed <laughs> to the Chipmunks. <laughs> wow, there's a long, there's a very long fifth. Are you smarter than a fifth grader theme? Did um did all my um funny effects in the background pick up on the microphone? Absolutely not. Damn. <laughs> it was a good effort. What were you trying to do? Garrett's sound effects were also donated to the chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> I walked away and I said, "That's it. I'm gonna go get Jeff Foxworthy." That I and heard. I I closed my closet door in a way that made it seem like a slam. And then I said, give me my A, Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> <laughs> I threw a tiny cardboard box at my microphone. <laughs> you know what? 
That's an A for effort. That's an A plus for effort. Definitely. <laughs> I was trying <laughs> to end on a dramatic note. <laughs> oh god, I, I cannot listen to this any longer. <laughs> Alright, now next episode we'll go head to head.